Beavers in the Bosque are damaging native trees and damming up an acequia that needs to stay flowing. And after years of battling this problem, there's now a plan to manage the beavers at the biopark differently. News 13's Jackie Kent is live near Tingley Beach with those details. Jackie. Yeah, take a look behind me. A dam had been blocking this channel until this afternoon. More work will be done here in the next couple weeks to redirect the beavers and avoid possible flooding because of dams. Can it over embank on the ponds themselves, which is what we're trying to reduce, because we want to ensure that the public can access for recreation purposes the pond areas for wildlife watching, uh, walking, hiking, biking. That dam was right in the acequia between two man made marsh ponds here, which clean the water from the Tingley Beach fishing ponds before it flows back into the Rio Grande. The Biopark Society, the nonprofit fundraising arm for the Biopark, recently put out an article about efforts in previous years to remove the dams or relocate the beavers, but it never worked in the long term. Now, Heritage Farm Assistant Curator JT Jones is spearheading a new program to direct the beavers away from the acequia. And point them to other areas of the pond where they can continue building dams for their safety and to help them access food. The plan starts with using a so called flow device in the coming weeks. The one we're going to put in here is specific to a culvert design, so it will have a, an exclusion fence with a pipe going to a um, cage on the front end of that pipe. That way the water can flow unimpeded. They'll also be using chicken wire to block the beavers from some trees that are native to the Bosque, like willows and cottonwoods. The end result will look like this tree we saw today that has beaver bite marks on it. Jones says they know of at least two beaver groups in the area, one living in each marsh pond. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. Now, this program will be done in collaboration with Game and Fish, the city's open space division, and the Beaver Institute in Massachusetts.